Good day everybody, my name is Dean. Welcome to the Droit and Maps SCADA online training videos. The following video is the 8th in a series of guides designed to help you the user become more familiar with our products. Today I will be showing you how to log the value of an analog agent, then display the historical data in a trend control. For those of you not familiar with the Droit product, I recommend that you head on over to the Droit website www.adroit.co.za To begin, we will need to open up our Agent Configurator. Once the Agent Configurator has opened, we will browse to our Analog Agent that we wish to log. I will then select the Log button. The Data Log dialog allows you to configure this and change the settings of the log file. In our case, we will just leave it as default and click the start button of the data log. Once I've started my data log, I will close and save my agent server. We will now need to open up our graphic form. We will use one of the graphic forms that we created in that previous exercise. I'm now just going to move my objects on my screen around and make a bit of space for myself. Once I've set this up, I will then go to my toolbox and we're going to use a control called a line chart. Under our data group, there are a number of charts that we can use to display historical information. But for our purposes, a line chart will do. I place my line chart on the screen and the line charts wizard opens. The first thing I'm going to do is change the title of my line chart and I'm going to call it Motor Pump Flow Trend. Once I've renamed my line chart, I will then navigate back to my series setup. Inside here, I will now assign a data element or agent to my series or line that I wish to trend. In this case, it'll be the analog we have just data logged. Selecting the value slot, I click finish. I then set my data element and click finish on the wizard. Once I've done this, I save and run my graphic form. We can go and change the value of that analog and we will notice then that the value in the trend will also change. Well, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to alarm a value. I hope you found this helpful and if you have any questions, please post it in the comments or visit our forum on the Adroit website.